Oh, why not? No, I'm not doing that. What's up, everybody? I'm Northern Beard. And I am the Mightiest Beard. And we're bringing you another episode of Beardlefield. Beardlefield is a series where Northern and myself sit down with a fresh craft brew and uh, do a little review of, of that. Nope. Not liking where that one's going. <laughs> We're gonna do a review of a brew! Brew, brew review! Oh, Beardlefield is a series where <laughs> Northern Beard and myself. I'm sorry. I I couldn't breathe and I had to clear my throat and I thought I was gonna get it in right before you started and then I did. <laughs> right. Sorry, I was about to choke. <clears throat> okay, I'm good. Beardlefield is a series where Northern Beard and myself try to tactically play some Battlefield 3 while we review a craft beer. Yeah, so we're gonna dump you over to in-game comms now, guys. Enjoy the episode. Cheers. Hello, Steven. Greetings, William. Uh, are you uh, prepared this evening for uh, some battle Sorry. on the field? Yes, I just completely face removed this one fellow. Professional. Professional work there. You're getting shot at all over the place. All right, all right. Ah, oh, wow. There's like a Houdini. Well, I, someone got lit up down that hall. Answer my question. Uh, yeah. Are you ready for battling on the field to battle? I am ready. I'm ready for some some beer in the field as well. Yeah. When are we not? Am I right? Oh, 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 oh. So okay, uh, if okay. you're so ready, then uh, why don't you give me a rundown on what uh, what it is we are drinking today? Yeah, we got a really nice one lined up tonight. It's uh, it's a nice brew from Firestone Walker Brewing Company over in California. Um, it is their Union Jack IPA, which is um, a, just a really, really well-respected uh, staple beer of theirs. It's a it's an American IPA. Comes in at seven and a half percent. About 70, 70 IBUs. Um, real solid. Glorious. Yeah. Well, why don't we uh, we just go ahead and dive right in? We dilly dally kind of a lot at the beginning of these things. Sometimes. Why don't we just go we ahead do. and start talking about the uh, the uh, the appearance of this of this beast? Yeah. Uh, well, I poured mine and I I rocked a uh, solid finger. Uh, or so of head on yep, it. Me too. Ooh, that guy just got blasted. Uh, yeah, that's that's. Ooh, I'm yep. screwed. I got basically uh, pretty much exactly one finger of like a tight, bubbled white, fluffy head on this. Yeah, nice. It is tight and bubbly. And speaking of bubbly, lots of carbonation. On this oh one yeah, as well. tons of carbonation on this one. Like, How's the color? What do you got on color? It's just a really standard, really nice looking. Uh, Orangey kind of amber color. It's really. Um, yep. I don't I keep. I keep saying standard, like it's some. Like it's like it sounds shitty, like normal, but you know, it's just a nice, very. It just got the standard color. color. Yeah, yeah, it just looks like a. It looks yeah. like an IPA. It looks really. It's it's really bubbly. It's really orange, and it's got about a finger of head on it. Uh, and this this is coming in at seven seven point five percent, right? Yes, sir. Yep. So yeah, it's, I mean, it's a shallow, shallow head, uh, but it's a good amount of head for for that much alcohol, oh, okay. which is, which is uh, nice. Hopefully, we know. It's got knife by a one hundred service star knife shit bucket. Hundred service, like a hundred service stars on the knife. Yep. Wow, that's uh, yeah. that's one thing to do with your life, I guess. Right. Oh, we're gonna push F. Yeah. Exactly. He's probably got it uh, found to something different. Ooh, get clipped. Uh, yeah, really, yeah, really nice looking beer. I'm gonna go ahead and move this up so I can get a get a nose on it. Yeah, get a nose on it. Uh, this is uh, for people like um, like myself who are kind of like hop heads. Uh, this is a really nice smelling beer. It just it mostly. Uh, I don't know if any of you homebrew, but if you uh, if you were to take hops and kind of mush them in your hand uh, and just pop open the, the glands in the hops, the, they're called lupulin glands. It's what it just smells like, just releases all the hop oils. And it's just it's just a really typical hop aroma. And you get a lot of that. Um, 
a lot of that with this one. Oh, fuck you. We traded. Yeah. Um, it's really uh, earthy, like herbal uh, scent. A lot, of, yeah, a lot of, lot of, yeah. I was gonna say there's a, there's a bit of uh, citrus, uh, grapefruit. Oh yeah, definitely, you know. definitely both of those. Um, but mostly just a really, really hop, just standard like hop forward, typical like West Coast IPA, smelling beer. Yeah. It smells yeah, great. I, though. I can't uh, wait to try it. Oh yeah, it just, it just smells amazing. I have nothing else to. Okay, guys, camping in a corner with a M240B. Dude, that's what, you're, that's what you're supposed to do. Correct. That's how you play this game. Camp, camp. camp yeah, the, I'm, I'm, I'm just getting, like I said, um, a lot of uh, floral grapefruit. That's that's pretty much it. Yeah. That's what I'm picking up on the nose. Um, um a little bit of pine maybe on the finish. Yeah, there's a there's a little bit of pine in there. It's got that kind of rye piney kind of flavor on the scent. Jesus, that's not where I should be. Wow. Guy, the guy was literally placing a, a claymore, and I walked around the corner, and it blew up in front of my face. That was that was great. Rough. Um, um, I'm gonna I'm trying to get a, a little. I just died. Hold on a second. I'm gonna. I'm trying to get a little bit of the malt because I know there's a little. They, they obviously it's a beer, so they use malt in it. It's like there's not really a lot of sweetness that you're getting on the aroma, though. Some no. some IPAs it comes through. You do get it a little bit, just like a little like toast, like toasty bread, but. It's not. Uh, it's really not prevalent. It's just. It's very. It's very uh, secondary to the hop. Yeah. Uh, kind I'm of. Getting, I'm just getting hops and citrus. You yeah, know, I'll call it like the it. hop. It's basically a hop takeover. It's just kind of taking over everything. You know, with as brutal as, as you and I are are being right now, it's really surprising that um, we're not pushing their shit in quite as hard as. Oh God! You know, as uh, well, this is KZN, the server. Yeah, it's a lot of lot of tryhards in the try server. M sixteen A three pros. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take a swig. Okay. All right, stand by. Are you you're still gaming yet? Yeah. I'm gonna get another big sniff. All right, going in. Okay, yeah, all face on that guy and no death. Got it. Yep. Yeah, that's uh, that is. It's a nice time there. That's uh, yeah. It's a really nice time. Really hoppy still. Um, like just tastes like kind of uh, like oily, like the hop oils that you get out of a out of a fresh hop. Um, but but it's so much. <laughs> There's like so much of it. You get so much flavor. It's really, uh, really fresh. Smell, uh, tasting. Ah, oh, yeah, that's good. If you're an IPA fan, that's that's really nice. You get it's kind of the same kind of earthy, kind of like dirty, uh, like hop, hop characteristics. Um, along with the, you get that pine, that pine uh, hang kind of at the end. Um, it actually reminds me a lot of the ruthless, but it's not yeah. uh, without the without the rye. Um, just the amount of pine that you get out of the ruthless rye, uh, but obviously no none of the rye kind of malt sweetness. Um, but yeah, it's a little. You get some orange, like orange peel maybe. There's a lot like of orange, pine on like that. Orange yeah. zest. Um, but yeah, I'm getting a lot of pine. Uh, More than I would think. Oh god, this, this guy's a bad dude. You're using an M16. How did you miss that guy that many times? Um, <coughs> nice job trying to knife, dude. That's why you don't knife, guys. You get shot in the back just like that. Um, 100 server stars, bro. Yeah, dude. Gotta get those. <laughs> As I stars. try to knife, I'm such a scrub. Wow. Well, I thought I had his back, and then he turned around. Oh god. I'm lit right now. Yep, and I'm gone. M320. What a pro. 33 service server star on the M320. Yeah. Double. Don't go get me. I'm like in the. Let's do is watch my body. What do you got on the taste there, sir? 
Um, I'm just gonna mirror. I mean, very, very, very strong pine. Um, and I'm okay with that. I like it. I think that the taste just really complements the nose. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Oh, yeah. I'd say it's maybe, uh... Get out the way! I'd say it's more, uh... A little bit more citrusy flavor than on the, uh, aroma. Really? I, I don't know. I think I... How did that guy not fucking die? Yeah, I get a little bit more of the orange why. on the on the flavor on this on the taste than I did in the uh, the aroma. Not a lot. I mean, it's still it's still a background to the pine uh, and to the to the general yeah, the kind of hoppiness. Run. But yeah, it's really bitter. Uh, mm -hmm, obviously, mm -hmm. it's a double dry hops imperial IPA like. If you don't like bitter beers, then don't buy anything that says Imperial IPA on it. That's, or if something that says, says Dry Hopped on it, because anything that's Dry Hopped is going to be bitter out the balls. I can't, I can't seem to get this guy. I think it closer. Ba -dam, ba -dam, ba -dam, ba -dam. Got him. <clears throat> um, but yeah, just generally a really nice... Fucking twitch scrub. What the hell? I can't I don't understand how that guy just did. But sure, whatever. Um, just a, a really, really nice beer, actually. Yeah. I mean, and, and you don't, you actually don't get a whole lot of any of these where you're from, do you? I don't. I can't. I can't get any Firestone Walker. They don't ship them. Yeah, that's too bad. They don't as a uh, as a brewery ship them here. Like I could probably order them and have it shipped here from online but, but uh right but they don't just i can't just go down to my local liquor store and get them i'm getting rolled fucking m16 tryhards all over the place in this server dude like how is that even fun anymore yeah that's all oh this God. server is really known for i traded with a guy who was an m16 same guy that just killed me a bunch of dudes camping tryharding let's uh let's talk about the uh, mouthfeel on this bad larry here yeah. so that we can get this shit out of here and stop getting camped like Scrubs. Oh shoot! I'm not. Uh, I'm not medic. Uh, mouthfeel on this for me is uh, a, little, a little sticky. Yeah, medium body, a little bit of carbonation. I think. I mean, in oh, that grenade's gonna fuck me up. Nope, I live. Glorious. Rats. Um, I'm not a huge fan of of heavy carbonation. Yep. And uh, this is a this is a really good balance. This this really has a nice balance for IPAs. Yeah, you um, would. You actually I, looking at the beer, you'd think it'd be more carbonated than it than it than it like comes across in in your mouth because it looks right. really carbonated. Is that you? Yep. All right. Definitely gets a coating going on. All that. All of those hop oils that are from the double oh, yeah. dry hopping and just like really s sticks around in your mouth and your throat area. Uh, very sticky. Yep, definitely very sticky, resiny. Uh, but welcome, kinda, I mean it's... Oh yeah, it's it's good. It's one of those things, it's a good... Um, I mean, it's, it's definitely not for someone who doesn't like an IPA, um, but for even for people who do like an IPA, it's a good like sipping IPA because you don't want... You're going to you're gonna get over overdone on, the, on this one if you, if you drink it too fast. You're just gonna be wow. kind of. You're gonna get tired of the flavor quickly. That's one kind of downside for me of IPAs in general is that like when they're really hoppy, they're really good, but I don't want to like chug them uh, because mm -hmm. they do like all of the hoppiness, uh, like the oils and stuff, kind of build up in your throat and makes it kind of scratchy and like I call it the hop <coughs> drag. Um, it just kind of builds up yeah. in your throat. And so if you if you drink it too fast, it just becomes unenjoyable. But if you don't drink it fast enough. It's not cold enough to really be enjoyable. That's also true. I'm more of a gulp on uh, on on IPAs. I'll do I'll do uh, like bigger gulps versus a chug. Yeah. And I don't really sip. I mean, I if I sip anything, I'm gonna sip uh, a pale ale or a porter. Yeah. Or a stout. That's ridiculous. I'm gonna show that spawn that just happened and show you how fucked up the spawn system is in this game. Or in the TDMs yeah. at least. Pretty excited for that. Yeah, it's great. 
Um, but yeah, it's, I mean, it's a nice mouthfeel, but it's not something you want to like chug. No. Yeah. That's uh, that's about it on my mouthfeel. How? Um, I mean, I think we could just segue right over into the uh, the overall. Yeah, I agree. Um, overall, I'm again. Like, overall, I am like really enjoying this beer. It's uh, it's a really nice, smooth. Uh, uh, IPA and it's good, like a good strong IPA. It's not, it's not boozy, um, which in an IPA can be, can happen easily when there's you yeah, know really more than easy, like yeah. more than like six percent. But there's a lot more than six. <clears throat> I'm getting so lit by this pure Canadian GTR guy. Um, but uh, yeah, my uh, if if I could buy this regularly, I d I definitely would. I would I would make this a drinking beer if it was. Uh, Available in my area, it's it's um, smooth enough to to drink multiples of as long as you're not trying to you know Bud Light shotgun them. Um, it's just it's just a really good example of a of a West Coast IPA, probably one of the better ones I've ever had. Yeah, uh, this is definitely a staple of mine. Um, okay, yeah, wrecks the guy in the face and he just shoots you with his hands. Shoot you with his hands? Well, he had his defib pads out, and then all of a sudden they were firing bullets out of his M16. Ah, gotcha. Oh god. I don't know how I'm alive, but I, I am. Yeah, this one, and um, there's another another company, our brewery out there, uh, Six Point. They make a really good IPA. Yeah, I haven't been able to try that one either because I can't get them also down here. You know, this Sorry, always makes it sound up. like I always makes it sound like I can't really get anything down here, but I do have a I can't get You a get so many good here. beers. Okay, so Claymore, much. really? Yeah, dude, professional. I'm Guy has six so server stars of the Claymores. Your Jesus. DTR. Yeah. I guess he's only got four server uh, stars of the M16, so I can't really complain yet on him. So I'm sorry, what did you say your rating was? The official? Oh, I'm uh I'll give this a uh I'll give this four stars. This is a a really. Yeah. Um, I keep using. I, I, I was saying it a lot when we were talking about the uh, the appearance of it, um, but it's really good, like standard IPA. Um, yeah, but it's just they do it right, you yeah, know. Yeah, when you like, are, when really you, right. but like it's, like they like are this this fucking guy. <clears throat> uh, they I guess I would call them like the standard. Like instead of just yeah. saying it tastes standard, they like they like set a standard by by being as good as they are. So that, I give it like I'll give it a four out of five. It's not it's it's nice. you know something um, very drinkable, very refreshing, uh, very flavorful, and just and and very smooth. Um, it's just kind of everything everything you want in in a really good IPA. Double spray. Yep. And uh, it's everything you should expect, and it delivers on everything. So yep. it's it's just you know it's a it's a standard bearer for sure. Yeah, absolutely. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just mirror that. I'm gonna give this a, a rock solid four, um, and that gives this wow. That was immediately hundred service star MP7. Like, wait, what are you doing with your life? Yeah. For the record, like we knew this going into the server. That's all the server is is their wow. king of tryhards. Okay. <laughs> Oh, dude! I got again? dude! I got killed and got revived, but my body when I got <clears> killed <throat> the first time, like fell into this dumpster that's on fire. So when I got revived, the, the fire uh, killed me immediately. That was that was me. That was my bad on on the res there. I was trying to do you a solid. Oh, that's cool. So you were saying four four out of five for you too? Yep. Yep. Uh, about to get shot here. Hang on. Good shot on my own fucking teammate. Wow, that was really weird what just happened right there. Yeah, a solid four for me. Uh, I mean, this 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 IPA kind of defines um, what a really rock solid IPA is. What I guess when you say standard, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that if all IPAs establish this as their standard, I mean, they'd be some crazy good IPAs out there, and a lot of yeah, them. Yeah, there is a lot of really crazy good IPAs out there. True. Um, but from what I hear... I've become a pretty big IPA, like, hophead myself. Yeah. 
this fucking dude have... just camps over there. Daddies. All right, guys. Well, that, four, four out of four. Uh, four out of five for me. Four out of five from Northern Beard puts us at a pretty easy to calculate Wizard Beard. Four out of That's five. That's a stars. Uh, six and a half, right? Yeah, the, roughly six and a half. Uh, yeah. No, we got a uh, we got a Wizard Beard here. Uh, really, just kind okay. of a just a glorious IPA that uh, that you should you know search for. This yeah, dude, definitely. Guy. So you want to uh, go ahead and social media the shit out of these? Oh things? god! Yeah. Um. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I mean, as always, we appreciate any and all support. If you want to uh, like us on Facebook, facebook.com/slash Mighty Beards of Gaming, um, twitter.com/slash Mighty Beards that we never use. Yeah. And uh, yeah. Oh Jesus. Quite the point run right there. And don't forget to like this video right here on YouTube and leave a comment if, yeah. you've, if you've had the beer or if you're going to be able to try the Avenger medal. Oh, what up? Nice. A medal? Nice. Yep. Oh, and a uh, 553 server star. Take it. Crushed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we definitely appreciate any of you guys liking uh, the video on YouTube. Sharing it with your friends is like the best thing you can do for us. Yep, um, and if nothing else, it just, you know inspires us to keep going. True, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Oh god. Uh, get, so yeah, that's on. all we got. Oh. Look at that body. Look at that body. Look at that distance. And splash. <laughs> Girl, look, look at, at that it. body. Girl, look at that body. <laughs> <laughs> wiggle, 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 wiggle. Wow. Up, and on bitch. and on that note, um we're going to leave you until next week. So Oh, devil. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> so for the Mighty Beards of Gaming, I'm the mightiest beard. And I am Northern Beer. You say that like that every time, like you're an old man. I, well, it's, I'm like a wizard. All right. Well, we'll catch you guys next week on another episode of Beardlefield. You shall not pass! Great.